What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and we're here with Alex Langer, CEO at Sierra Madre Gold and Silver. Nice to have you back, Alex. It's been a little while. Yeah, good to see you, Aaron. It's been a minute for sure, but uh, I think the timing is good. We've been busy over the last little while, for sure. Yeah, I'm excited to get an update. So can you start by giving us an update on the company, telling us everything that you've been up to so far this year? Because I know we chatted last year. Yeah, no, absolutely. So just to remind everybody, uh, Sierra Madre Gold and Silver is an exploration and future development company uh, focused on consolidating high value and quick production precious metal assets in Nayarit in Western Mexico. Um, so I guess last time we chatted, we only had one project. Uh, we did have some big news shortly thereafter where we acquired our second project called La Tigra. Uh, La Tigra we acquired from a company called Grupo Mexico. Uh, for those that don't know, Grupo is a multinational, multi-billion dollar corporation. Uh, they have three of the largest copper mines in the world. Uh, they have banking rights, grocery stores, and they're actually the largest independent owner of the railway system in Mexico as well. So really, really a big, uh, big company. Uh, we're only the second number junior to do a joint venture with them on one of their projects, which kind of goes to show, I guess, our management and the ability to do deals. So what really attracted us to La Tigra uh, was a few things. One, it's a past producer. Uh, so we know a good spot to always find metal is where there's already metal before. And the grade was really high. Um, it was in production for about a hundred years, shut down in the early nineties. Um, during that time, the head grade was over 10 and a half grams gold mm. over 350 grams silver. So really high grade. And it had never seen any modern mining exploration techniques. And there was no topography map. There's no trenches. There's no drill holes. So uh, we've been really busy with that project. We um, signed the HEDO agreements with the local community, which was awesome. Uh, they've been really supportive. Uh, we got our drilling permits. Uh, we did a bunch of topography map. We did a bunch of sampling, a bunch of trenching and uh, as of i guess about 10 years ago we started drilling which is super exciting too and yeah, then also no. uh, yeah quickly on our topeak project we're pushing that forward uh, so i think last time we spoke we had finished our phase one drill program uh, we have done a ton of trenching a ton of work there as well uh, announced uh, some more ahito agreements with the locals there which is good so everything's moving forward and uh, we started our phase two drilling program and we announced uh, eight holes uh, from that program uh, about two weeks ago as well wow you guys have been up to quite a few things since yeah <laughs> yeah I know it's good. that's awesome so it's, it's nice to see you guys up to a lot so uh, you just announced the commencement of your maiden drill program at La Tigra. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? For sure. So it's really exciting. So um, La Tigra is one of these projects where, you know, our geologist, Greg Liller, he's our chief operating officer, but he's been to Mexico since 93 and he absolutely loves this project. He, he tried for a number of years to get it. Uh, we were finally able to acquire it again from Grupo Mexico, but it just has incredible potential. So one thing we noticed right away was the really high grades. So we were getting samples up to 15 grams gold, which is excellent. But we also noted there's a lot more there than pre uh, previously thought. For instance, there's this one uh, area called El Camino. In, in essence, it's the road. So the road, you know, to the project, um, we dug up the road, you know, just a, whatever, by a meter. We sampled it and it was one of our best trenches. Like we got uh, seven grams gold within that trench. So we knew right away that there was a vein there. And that was actually on top of the previous mine area, which is the Tigre vein. So we noticed that there's this multiple stacked vein systems um, at La Tigra outside of just the one known vein. So our first drill, Ray, we're actually on to the third one right now, the third drill hole, uh, should be able to pierce these multiple veins all from one platform as well, which is great. So it's gonna lower our drilling costs and allow us to intersect multiple veins, hopefully uh, with one drill hole. Yeah, that'll be exciting to see those results as well. Yeah, so, uh, excited too. <laughs> like you said, no drill holes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's it's amazing. wild. Yeah, the thing was in production for 100 years. Like during its peak, it had 5,000 people working there. Um, it, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that must be a really exciting project for you guys. So let's talk about one of your most recent press releases when it comes to drill results. So um, you announced some pretty awesome results in terms of like uh, intercepts of 2.55 meters, grading 1,106 grams per ton silver equivalent and 12.1 meters grading 194 grams per ton silver equivalent at the Tepic project. Yeah. Um, what does that mean for the company or can you tell us more about sure. that? Sure, Absolutely. So uh, also quite exciting for us. So our previous drill program we had done to really um, confirm the historic um, 
resource or the historic drilling. Uh, the previous operators drilled about 31,000 meters of drilling. We have all that information, but we wanted to confirm it ourselves. Um, so this new program was all literally exploration. And it was exploration to build out a resource that we're hoping to release in quarter three of this year, uh, depending on how well the drilling is going and it's gone quite well. So every one of these drill holes intercepted mineralization of more than three meters and over 100 grams silver equivalent, at least a lot of them were much higher, as you just mentioned. Hmm. These are all step outs. Uh, the first four were actually up dip. So what was interesting is what we found out is the previous operators actually didn't even um, assay the first few meters of uh, their drill holes because they were, I guess, cash conscious at the time. So mm -hmm. you got to pay for it. So they, they didn't want to. But our, our trenching campaign showed that a lot of these veins and a lot of this mineralization should extend to surface. And sure enough, uh, we were four for four on the first uh, four holes, which is great. So it's really going to uh, hopefully increase the size of the resource. It allows us to project further and make that you know a larger number. The second three holes are also really interesting. Uh, they were down dip. So down dip means from outside the known mineralization, but going the other way. So we intersected mineralization again. So we went, uh, yeah, we, we didn't miss. Um, <laughs> what was also quite interesting is there was a perceived fault. A fault is where they think mineralization stops from whatever reason, volcanic activity or the earth shifted and there wouldn't be a feeder system. Well, we actually drilled through that pretty easily and sure enough, we hit on the other side. So that's really significant for us because it extends the possibility of more mineralization um, from known, I guess, strike length by multiple kilometers. So we're, we're really thrilled. Um, we did our 15 holes there. Then we moved the drill rig to La Tigra. And uh, once we finished there, we're moving the drill rig back to Topeak. And now that we have assays, now we know where to drill. We can do even further step outs and more exciting exploration. Yeah, lots to come. And yeah. you know, we'll, we'll definitely be covering that. So uh, when it comes to other news, I know that you were waiting a while for your OTCQB listing. So earlier, this year, you announced DTC eligibility, started trading on the OTCQB. It's a big milestone, so congratulations. And, you know, what does this mean moving forward? Thanks. No, it's it's important. Um, you want to have liquidity in your stock. You want to have people have the ability to purchase your, your shares as easy as possible. So what that allows us to do and allows uh, a lot of uh, retail U.S. investors is to uh, buy Sierra Madre through their online accounts and through the broker much easier. Um, we're also in the process of upgrading that to the one higher level. So that should hopefully happen over the next few months as well. And, and just enables you to have a larger audience, which is quite important. Um, and I'll be fortunate enough to be part of a few silver bull runs. And uh, mm -hmm. when you know that happens and the markets get excited, the largest pool of capital in the world is, is in the US and uh, the retail following is can grow quite quickly. So it's really important to, to have that as kind of a benchmark to grow from. Yeah, definitely. And you know, so far so good for the metals market, especially gold and silver. We've seen a nice bump this year so far. So uh, What's the one thing you're most excited about when it comes to the company this year, if you had to pick one thing? One thing is tough. Uh, I'll give you three quick things. If that's okay. all right. Um, one is definitely the drilling at La Tigra, seeing a you know, project drilled for the first time and seeing all the work that we've done to build up for that is pretty cool. So looking for those results. Also at Topeak is coming out with that resource, the NI43 101 compliant resource. It's something we've been working towards. Really gives you the validation of what we're doing. This is the potential size. And then from there, we can move on to economics. And then a third is we're not done trying to get bigger as well. So there's, uh, you know, we're chatting with different groups. We'd love to do another acquisition. Uh, we really feel what we built is great and we can probably add on another project. Uh, we want to be in production relatively quickly. As you mentioned, metal prices are, are doing well and mm. the early you get in production, the quicker you can, you can capture that. So we're, you know, we're still actively looking, nothing's imminent, but uh, hopefully in the next you know, while we'll, we'll have something else as well. Yeah, and I think this sector right now is prime for acquisitions and a little bit of consolidation. And you could say, what do you think? Absolutely. I, I think that would be a big boon for the market. Um, we see a lot of these funds. Uh, I chat with them quite often. They're starting to trade some of the bigger names, um, which, is, which is good. So people are interested in the space. 
but if we had a bit of m a especially from kind of the larger guys moving mm. down um i think that really jump started kick the market and i don't know anything Im- imminent by any means but uh, when these things happen it, it triggers people's perception and they write oh yeah you know, gold and silver it's doing well and and that's a bit of validation that people like and you know increases investor sentiment and gives people more comfort so a couple of acquisitions in the you know macro sense would be great yeah definitely and i feel like it would add value to the smaller cap companies exploration companies so that'd be great but Hopefully we'll see it soon. So where's the best place for investors <laughs> to go for more information? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, SierraMadreGoldSilver.com. Uh, we actually released uh, a couple new videos, which are great uh, project videos. So we talk about some of the social work we're doing at Latigra, which is amazing. Uh, we have project update at uh, Topeak, including the new drilling, and then also uh, getting ready for drilling at Latigra. So some cool videos really gives you an idea of you know, the land we're working and the people we're working with and uh, the good work that our technical team is doing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Alex. I look forward to covering it and I know we'll have you back on for some more updates, hopefully some drill results or something like that. Absolutely. We'll do it much sooner than last time, I promise. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds good. We'll have a good one. Yeah, you too. Thanks. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research. You've done your third due diligence and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.